Welcome back to Paper Mario, everybody! So, last episode we got this Koopa on our team. His name is Cooper, and wow! In the time that we uh, took to fight the Fuzzies, a star piece materialized up here. I'm cool with that. Also, this little mysterious spot will play a role later on in the game. Oh, welcome, young fella. I'm the elder of Koopa Village. Folks call me Koopa Koo. Say, might you do me a favor? Sure. Oh, how very kind of you. I guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. Well then, young fella, I don't usually ask for favors, but perhaps just one little one. Could you borrow the book Koopa Legends from Colorado? I'm certain if you were to ask Colorado's wife, she'd lend it to you. If it's an isn't a trouble, please go get there as soon as possible. You promise, young fella? Yeah, this is Koopa Koot. He has all the side quests, basically. This is the oldest Koopa in Koopa Village. His name's Koopa Koot. He's famous for being selfish, stingy, and impatient. He doesn't ask for things that are impossible, but you can bet the tasks will be hard and time-consuming. Not this one. Oh, little Cooper is going on Mario's adventure. How cute. Take care. Oh, do you need something? You're doing an errand for the Elder, are you? Hmm, right. Koopa Legends. Yes, my husband owns that one. Of course you can borrow it. Don't let that old Koop work you too hard, okay, Mario? He's known to do that. He's also a bit short-tempered. Well, anyways, please just wait here for a moment. I'll go poke around in my husband's bookshelf. Found it! You're taking it. Talking about this book, right? It's all yours. I was behind. It was behind the bookshelf. You got the Koopa Legends, Colorado's strange book. Deliver this to Koopa Koop. It's strange. That book. It has all these pictures of shells and exercises. Firmer shells in 30 days. Interesting. I like this little back area. Oh wait! Whoa. This is the bookshelf in Colorado's room. Most of the books seem to be about archaeology. There are also a few that seem somewhat less intellectual. Really? How interesting. She's the wife of Colorado, who's an archaeologist and explorer. She always worries about him. You know, I like adventure too. I can totally see my future wife being like that. Always worried about the brave Gumbario. Oh, you mean more lovely, right? Because I know you have totally have the hots for her. Here you go. Great Galloping Goombas, you're a lifesaver, Mario. This is just what I needed. <laughs> uh, to show my gratitude, I'd like to make a gift of this. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. You got one coin. He doesn't always give out one coin. Sometimes he gives out free star pieces. Oh, what luck. You came at the perfect time, young man. Could you see your way to do it me another favor? Sure. Oh, how very kind of you. I guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. Well, then, young fellow, I don't usually ask for favors, but lately I've been sleeping poorly. I'd love a sleepy sheep to help me catch a little shut-eye. There should be a shop in Toad Town that sells them. If it isn't a bother, hurry up and get one, all right? You promise, young fellow? Well, it just so happens I have a sleepy sheep on me. My stars, you're a veritable hero, Mario. Finally, some peace and quiet. Sweet dreams, here I come. <laughs> I'll take this as a small thank you. Don't, don't be so polite, young fellow. Take it. Oh, of course, take this too. Did you know that there's a playroom in Toad Town? If I remember right, it used to be right around the train station. It's strictly for members only, so the entrance to it is well hidden. I bet you could find it, though. This here's a silver credit. It'll let you play once you're inside the playroom. Back in my heyday, I used to go there and make a lot of money, but I got tired of the hoopla. So the silver credit's yours. Good luck. Make some money. <laughs> And we get the silver credit the card Koopa Koop gave you, let it to use it to play in the playroom. Oh, it's Mario, is it? Nice weather we're having, hmm? I can't think of any favors I need at the moment. I'll bet you all need one later, though. Yeah, I bet you will. Let's get out of there while we can. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get this badge. That wasn't it. Nope. Ah! 
that was it. Left, right, up. We get the attack of XP badge. Changes the sound effect of Mario's attacking. Let's equip it. I know a lot of people do not like the attack of X badges. I like them, though. Especially the last one you get. Alright. So, just... Actually, you know what? I'll be coming back anyway, so... These are the, like, little candy cane guys, if you run around here. Oh, I should have taken a nap, me thinks. Because I already used two power shells. And there's nothing there, and we get a honey syrup behind that one. You know what? I prefer Goombario in battle to Cooper, so... Sorry, Cooper. It's a trap! Spoke too soon. In your face. My goal is to get this Let's Play done before 2017, basically. I know I'll be able to finish up Pajama Sam, Lemmings Revolution, and what's the other one? Oh yeah, and definitely Toy Story 2. We continue on this path. Oh, I, I forgot you were my partner. What we want to do is use Cooper. And we get the Thunderbolt, lightning that strikes one enemy, five attack power. Pretty powerful weapon. Now, the, honestly, I'll get rid of the Dried Shroom, it's like the worst item in the game. Glad I have Cooper. And I'm getting close to a 1-up. I think I'm going to upgrade BP next, just because I've got so many badges I want to equip. No entry allowed, Mario. Yours truly, the Koopa Bros. Luckily for me, I got Cooper. Oh boy, paratroopers. These guys are actually pretty tough. First off, they get the first strike a lot. This is a paratroopa. No surprise here. Paratroopas are Koopa Troopas with wings. Max HP 4, attack power 1, defense power 1. When you jump on them or use a power block, their wings fall off and they become normal Koopa Troopas. Wait, power blocks work on them when they're in the air? It's easy to beat them once they're normal Koopa Troopas. Give them another jump attack. They think they're pretty cool because they wear sunglasses, but they're not that tough. Alright. Yes, I took two jumps to bring them down on their back. Hammer on the belly. Goodbye. Oh, it's so much fun to be playing this game again. It's been too long. I haven't played this in years. And it's, it's nice how it's just all exactly as you remember it. Amazing. I will eventually you Thousand Year Door as well. That game is really good as well. Definitely my top ten favorite games of all time. Well, probably. Yep. Some of blocks are invisible, just to let you know. There is a way to see them later on in the game, but for now. Alright, I'm actually... Do I throw away the Fright Jar or one of the Koopa Lee? You know what? I might want to use the Fright Jar later on, so I guess I'll throw away a Koopa Lee. Actually, wait a second. I'm low on FP, so I'll eat a Koopa Leaf. Restore my FP. And then get this one. Yes, that's a much better idea. Ooh, star piece. No one-ups in this. Yes, it's satisfying when you can get the first strike against Paratroopas. Aha, this is why I saved the Fire Flower. That. 
Also, just to show you what happens if you hammer the Koopa, you'll only deal one damage if you get the full power one instead of two, because they've got one defense when they're not flipped over. But alright, 12 star points! BP come to Papa. Also, you notice when I'm taking damage, I'm getting more coins. That's thanks to the payoff badge. Okay! So, not HP+, plus, at least not yet. Hammer throw could be good, but not really in this part. I think I'm gonna do dizzy attack and close call. So you'll notice now when I spin, it's blue. You'll see that in action a bit later. And since I just got a one-up, I don't need to get that hard one. Oh yeah, Cooper Bros Fortress. Whoa, Mario, what the? Oh, we're in a world of hurt. Mario's here already. I gotta tell the re leader, Red Koopa! All right, welcome to the first dungeon, Koopa Bros Fortress. Very dreary, but it's a good dungeon. Even if the enemies are somewhat irritating. Oh boy, bob -ombs. This is a bob -omb. bob -ombs are pretty temperamental, and they get steaming mad when you attack them. Max HP 3, attack power 1, defense power 0. You'd better not jump on them when they're angry or they'll blow up in your face. In fact, stay away entirely. Attack them from a distance with items like hammers, or you could send in other things like shells. If they attack when angry, they'll charge in and explode, so you'd better take care of them before they blow. Yeah, so bob -ombs you just have to kill on one turn. Before that, they're really weak, but they are surprisingly difficult to defend against, because they're so slow. It's hard to tell when you need to press A to defend. So I'm actually going to change to Cooper, because Cooper can safely take him out. Okay. Yeah, so I'll show you. So, we hammer the bottom, takes two damage, and now he's angry. If he attacks, he's going to deal three damage, so that's a lot. So we're going to use Shell Toss, which basically works exactly the same way the hammer does. Cooper's nice because he can attack enemies that are like, would normally hurt you because he's in his shell. Uh, got the fortress key, opens the locked door in the fortress. Wonder where we have to use it. And I've already tattled on like all the enemies in the dungeon, so I think I can keep Cooper. <laughs> it's fun to do stuff like that. <laughs> that kind of is a jump that's classic. <laughs> Yeah, I'll show you what happens if a bob -omb attacks you when it's, uh, angry. Oh, only two damage? Oh, never mind. That's not even that big of a deal. It is, I guess, if you only have 10 HP like I do, but that's my choice. Ha! Let's see the great Mario get any farther now. You rain? Yeek, Mario! You, uh, don't try any- You'll still never find your way through this fortress. Um, it looks like there might be some fighting here. How exciting! See ya! Hey, dude. So, Cooper's an alright partner. He's one of my least favorite in the game, to be perfectly honest, just because a lot of the ones you get later in the game, they're basically exactly like Cooper, only better. You'll see what I mean later. He's just, he's great at attacking ground enemies, but the fact is, the next partner we get in this dungeon is also, like, equally as good. If not better. So, he suffers from that. Okay, so you'll notice there's a badge in there that Koopa just ran through the wall. That's a little hint. You can either wait till you get the next partner to get it, or you can get it early. Your choice. Ooh, mushroom! Thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot I have Dizzy Tech. You get the Power Bounce badge! Jump on one enemy continuously until you miss an action command. This is a really good badge, so yeah, goodbye Dizzy Attack. Hello, Power Bounce. Still a really good badge, especially when you combine it with a certain other badge. Oh, 
Oh man! Oh yeah! Oh, this is where it gets a little exciting. This dungeon's really cool. Although, admittedly, it's probably one of the lamest of the dungeons in the game. So if we go in here... Ooh, prison for bob -ombs. That's not good. We can't do anything about that yet, but... One of those bob is not like the other! <laughs> Or paratroop is in the next room, so... This room can be tough, if you're not prepared. Alright, just to make sure, I'm kinda low on HP, so... Maybe I'll eat a mushroom for next battle. Ooh, pub block! Yes, please. Uh... Oh, come on! Oops. Uh, no fright jar for me. I'm okay. I'm frightening enough as is. But I'm already back up to 52 star points, so that's nice. Goodbye, fright jar. Kind of weird how the windows can just, or the doorways can just move up and down like that, but that's just kind of part of the charm of Paper Mario. Okay, these are fire bars. If you continuously jump over them, something good will happen. They get faster every time, but. Keep doing it, they explode into a lot of money. Remember that. Because money is very valuable in this game. Especially if you want to get all the badges. Ooh, 142 uh, coins. I like all the detail that went into this fortress, like giving the bricks kind of like a slimy kind of look to them. Making them look a little bit worn down. It, it's very nicely done. Fortress key! Oh boy. Okay, this is perfect, I think. Whoa, looks like Mario's here. I better skedaddle. Alright. So if you go out here, there's a save block if you want it. Fortunately, I only really save when it reaches the end of an episode, so that way, if my recording gives out in the middle of it, I can just pick up from where I started before. Alright, so what, but to spy what you might think, you actually do need to hit that. Wow! Mario! Bwahahaha! <laughs> Loser! Serves you right! You fell for it! And now we land in bob -omb Jail. Oh, what was that? Where did that fall from? Where did that fall from? Oh, I wondered what just fell. But aren't you Mario? I never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Who, me? My name's Bombette. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a bob -omb. Pleased to meet you. All of us bob got locked in here by the Koopa Bros. Nothing we could do about it. The Koopa Bros used to be cool, but then they got conceited because Cammy Koopa likes them. Before, they were just typical young guys from the Koopa Village. They were nice enough. I think maybe the desire for adventure corrupted them. Uh-oh. Cooper, you listening? I'm sorry, I simply will not obey tyrants anymore. Those Koopa Bros can't squash the pride of a bob -omb. So, I'm using all my energy thinking of a way to break out of here. Hmm, the angles, the vectors... Ugh, it's so complicated, my head's going to explode. <laughs> well done, bob -omb. Funny pun. Those stinking Cooper Bros worked us too way too hard. They were making us work for 25 hours a day. Unreal. Nobody's life should be all work, right? No, it shouldn't. I need free time to make my mark in the world. Boom. What's that? Why am I locked up here? Because I'm a menace. 
at least to these guys. Those uncool Cooper Bros. I was just one of many bombs working here. But those Cooper Bros, once the Bowser took over, they started working us into the ground. I couldn't take it anymore, so I exploded next to them. Yeah, that was a mistake. The Cooper Bros didn't like it, so they locked me in here. And then they locked up with the rest of the bob because they thought they might rise up. You know, a bob Rebellion! What do you think about that? Oh, sorry. It's a long story, I know. Anyway, Mario, we want to get out of here. Do you think you could help spring us from this place or what? Pretty please? If you help us, I promise I'll return the favor. No. Oh, you... won't? We're really hurting here, Mario, and you won't help us? I guess I was wrong about you. Ouch. I, I wanted the title on her. She's named Bombette. That pink is adorable! She does seem to be pretty strong-willed. Her future boyfriend might be in for some trouble. Hear that, Bruce? That bob has been jailed. I wonder if they got hurt when they blow themselves up. I mean, they blow up all the time, so they must enjoy it. Once they start exploding, they can't stop. It blows my mind. Oh, I love these puns. That bob has been jailed. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no, different one. That bob has been jailed. He seems to really dislike the Cooper Bros. Say, I wonder who will live here if we manage to boot out the Cooper Bros. Bombette's castle. My bob has been jailed. Do the Cooper Bros have short tempers, you think? If we had a bob on our side during battle, it would really catch the Cooper Bros off guard. That bob has been jailed. I wonder what he did to the Cooper Bros. I thought that bob and Cooper Bros worked together in harmony. You were wrong. You changed your mind, Mario? Yes, I'm sorry for ever done you. Oh, how nice! We'll be good friends from now on, I can feel it. We'll make a super team, Mario. Bombombet, join your party. Press down C to make Bombombet wa walk for a short time and then explode. She can destroy cracked walls or rocks and activate switches. While in battle, she can attack an enemy on the ground with her body slam ability. Or damage enemies on the ground with her bomb attack. So bomb attack basically pierces defense, which is really nice. And her bomb body slam, it's basically Cooper, Cooper's attack. Uh-oh, someone's mowing the lawn right outside my window. I hope that doesn't pick up on the microphone. Now let's think of a way to get out of here. Oh gee, I almost forgot. I haven't even told you about what I can do. Silly me. My specialty is exploding. Check this out. It'll blow your mind. See, if there are any cracks in a wall, I can probably break it. Let me try this one. Puff, 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 take cover. I love Bombat. She's amazing. See that? You see what I bring to the party, Mario? Oh, an escape route! Well, I... I guess I never thought about doing that before. I was so mad I just blew up over and over in one place. Tee hee! Okay, that was a little silly. Well, anyway, we can get out of here now, right? And so can everyone else. Thank you, Mario. From now on, I'll tackle all and help out wherever I can. You just ask and I'll be there for you. Aw, that's sweet. Now enough chit-chat. I have got a little score to settle with those Koopa Bros. I like Bombette's personality. They really did a good job with her. Actually, I want Cooper. Because we're dealing with bob -ombs. And Cooper's the only one who can hit bob without besides Mario's hammer without damaging themselves. What's all this noise? In case you bob forgot, exploding is prohibited inside the fortress, except in the case of emergencies. He says in front of bob -ombs. What the? Mario, what are you doing here? Nothing good, I bet. Everybody get him. Doom, 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 doom. This will be easy. <laughs> you got it. That was awesome. Do, do, do. Easiest mini boss in the entire game. Well, not really, but they're really easy. Ooh, we get money. PT, look, money! I like. I just like Bombat's design. Very cute pink. She's got a little wick on her, or like her fuse is like her ponytail. It's very well done. You can also blow her up prematurely. Yeah, so this is the other way you can get the power bounce badge if you want. Mario likes to spin! Alright. Time to schedule, to schedule a score with the Koopa Bros. But first... Boom! We 
we go through here. We get the refund badge! Refund some coins if you use an item in battle. That will make you rich. Especially if you use a lot of uh, items. So I'm going to unequip close call. Because let's be honest, I'm not in danger all that much. So... Yeah, refund, if you use, like, say, a mushroom in battle, you'll get, like, five coins. But if you use some really good items, like I will later in the game, you get a lot of money for that. And on that note, we're gonna end the episode there. Thank you for watching, I'm Keller Farney. Tune in for the next episode, we will probably beat the Cooper Bros Fortress and use Bombette some more. Have a great day, and God bless.